well done. Cool. All right. Well, um, I'm just going to put you on mute and we'll share some music. Okay, so we've got a fairly chill sort of spa vibe this morning. So it starts fairly quietly, this one. All right. So if you can give me a little roll with your shoulders. Can you hear the music okay with me over the top? Give me a thumbs up. Bit quiet. Let me try just bringing that up a little bit. Is that better? Yep. Okay. Alrighty. If we can um, take our feet a little bit wider, we're going to soften the knees and then we'll lean off to the side and then lift. And the other way and lift. Breathing in as you lean, breathing out as you lift. And taking the arms wide, let's mobilize the hip. Big circle. Think of your posture, so lengthening up through the crown of your head. And can you point your toes as you circle and then reverse back the opposite way? Now, how steady can you be in your hips as you do it? Let's give that a go on the other side. We're going to turn the palms up and over. So again, how steady can you be in the hip? Let's reverse. Point your toes. Lengthen up through the crown of your head. And we're going to take our feet just a bit wider, turning out the toes. Bend through your knee if you can push your bottom back. And switch over to the other side. And do it again. your shoulder through and turn your head so you look behind you we're going to hold down there for three two one and switch to the other side so turn look up towards the ceiling and one more each way so final one and then we're going to drop down into the middle with straight legs Walking your hands in towards the middle of your feet. Deep breath. Alrighty, and then bending through the knees. And if you can join me down on the mat. Alrighty, so. Let's give our back a bit more of a warm up. So if you can bring your knees up and over to one side, let your head turn and point your toes as you drop your knees the other way. And adding in some arms. So we're going to leave the knees down and sweep the arms away from the knees, reaching to the fingers and then opening the arms and lift your knees up and over to the other side. So reach the arms away from the knees, extend into your fingertips and open the arms. Let's do that again. So reaching through the fingers, breathe. And we're gonna do that just a couple more times through. So last one each side, reaching into the fingers to help open the joints in the back, the muscles. Last one. Alrighty, so from here we're going to roll over to all fours and I'd like you to take your opposite arm away from your leg like this and then touch your elbow to your knee underneath. So we're going to reach 
and then cross under. And as you reach, point your toes, lengthen into your fingertips, rounding, reaching, and on the hand that's on the floor, if you think of sort of pushing the ground away, two more on this side, and let's do the final one and then switch over to the other leg. So extending away, point your toes, elbow to knee underneath, inhale as you reach, exhaling as you round. Can we do that four more times? Pushing the ground away with the hand that's on the floor, so mobilizing the back, warming up through the glutes. Last couple. And final one. And then hooking under with the toes. Let's meet in the downward dog so you can take a different view of the world. Lift your tailbone in the air. Notice your calves today as you press your heels down. How are they feeling? Deep breath. Let's take a, a walk in with the hands and press the heels towards the ground. We're going to tuck the head in so the nose goes towards the knees. And just hang loose there. Walking into the downward dog again. Pressing down with the heels. Deep breath. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And just walking the hands in. I'm going to do that one more time. This time, walk your hands further away. Pressing down with the heels, pressing out with the heels. Breathe. Walking in with the hands. And can you? Uncurl, coming up to standing. Have you got a band there we can use? If you can find a, a band. Alrighty, so I'd like you to do single band, holding in your hands like that, bringing your elbows to your waistline, and then ripping your band. Make sure you've got a little bit of tension on it with your hands in that position. We're going to pull like we're trying to pull the band apart and then move to the middle and do it again adding a tiptoe rise as you pull and move to the middle and do it again and as you do it try to keep this part of your hand kind of flush so you're not kind of dipping in the wrist like this the hand sits well with the forearm Breathing in as you pull, we're going to hold for three, two, one, and down. Let's do that again. So we're going to pull, three, two, one, and lower. And final one. And release. And then if you can take your band and flatten it out so we're going to stand onto it next so hooking it underneath your feet like this and having your feet about hip width softening your knees and letting your tailbone hang down we're going to sink into a squat and just let the band sort of sag a little bit and come back up ideally we want the feet just slightly wider than the hip as you come down, let the band hang loose and then lift. So level one. For level two, we're going to pull forwards. Thumbs are on the top. And if you think about your shoulder posture, so as you pull with the arms, press your shoulders down and open your collarbones. For third level, we had more height. So more advanced, bigger pull, more height. So choose your level 
We're going to do it four more times. Pull your belly button in as you come down so you've got some core support. Think about the posture in your back. Last couple. And final one. And standing now, we're going to allow the band to pull us down to one side, let the head drop. And down the other way. Give in to gravity with the head. Breathing in. Breathing out. As you keep going with a drop, can you lift on the other side? So allow your head to drop, soft knees and a pull. More advanced if you can get more height on the band. Sometimes they do go pink, it can be a bit of a shock, but not too painful. Alrighty, one more on each side. Great for working the muscle over the top of the arm, around the deltoid, the top of the shoulder. And we're going to roll. So lift and then lower. Up, squeeze and down. Think of really opening your collarbones. And last couple. final one okay so if you can unhook your band now's a good time to get a drink okay so next up are some seated curls now we've got three levels on these and you can either choose to do them with a band hooked under your feet or you can do um, a hands-free curl depending on your level or we're going to try some under over curls today with a stick so for first level use your band useful if it's tricky to get yourself up and down off the ground so we hook like this breathing in as we touch down breathing out as we lift so if it's doable hands free and we can do it in a fluid way keeping the chest open tailbone tucked as we roll eye gaze looking up towards the ceiling on the roll helps to keep the head in line it can be tempting to sort of lead the movement from the head but try to keep the head back and think of leading the movement from your chest level three for more advanced option i'm going to do what i call under over curl so we curl and then scoop with the band and then we roll down so we scoop and then roll breathing in as we touch down breathing out as we lift so choose your level you can do it four more times so finishing off your last couple and then on your last one we're going to come down to the ground so we'll leave our hands above our head and we're going to interlace our fingers turning the palms outwards pointing the toes and just arching back to give our belly a stretch or abdominals where we've just been working our rectus abdominis six-pack muscle that sits down the front of the belly deep breath So I'd like you to bend one leg and scoop your hands just underneath. And we're gonna turn so that we are on our front now and move into doing some cobras. So 
basic cobra, pointing the toes, pressing the shoulders down, chin up. seconds and then lowering down and we'll use the glutes to squeeze and support the back checking in on if that feels safe and appropriate for your back today and we're going to stay up there just a little bit longer so at the top now we're going to hold for three two one and then down so again holding at the top three two one and then down two more inhaling lifting great for mobilizing the joints and the muscles in our back final one and then releasing to transition again to our downward dog so if you can meet me in the downward dog lifting the tailbone allow the heels to drop have one foot in the middle and if you'd like you can add in a little bit of lift with the other leg now can you get that leg so your toes point up towards the ceiling holding just for a few seconds and then coming back down and we're going to come back down to bent leg so we're flexing our toes like this and we're pushing down fairly firmly under the toes to stretch them and then drop the knees and just relax and then let's give that a go on the other side so starting in our downward dog so we press the heels down straight legs breathe And then keeping the other leg central, sweeping up and back. Can you point your toes up to the ceiling? Lifting the leg nice and high, pressing down with the heel. Breathe. Alrighty, and then from there, I'm gonna do the toe stretch again. So flexing the toes. Let's bend the knees, hovering the knees just above the ground, push down into your toes so you feel the joints stretching. We're going to take a walk with our feet towards our, our hands and uncurling up to standing and moving into a yoga stretch next. So we can spread our feet out wide and we're going to turn out to our toes over here angle in at 45 over here and we're going to switch into a warrior pose so making sure that the legs are, are wide enough you can see yourself in your screen that we've got the corner of a square here in this leg and the shoulders stacked above the hips lengthening the arms eye gazing off down the middle finger in a, a warrior like fashion deep breath So stamina building for the legs. Can we straighten the bent leg and then slide the hand to the shin bone? And can you go a little lower with that hand? Turning the eye gaze up to the top hand to test balance. Breathe. And bending again into the knee, and we're going to shift back to our warrior pose. But then keep going so we bring the back hand down to the calf, and we're going to turn the palm up, hailing the universe kind of moment, and just asking for some positive, healthy energy. Breathe. Let's straighten both of the legs. And we're going to turn the toes out over here, angle in at 45 degrees and switching into warrior pose over here. So strong pose, gazing off down the middle finger, kind of power pose. Just 
tuning in to some powerful energy. Breathe. That kind of powerful energy like, yeah, we've got this. And then from here, we're gonna straighten out through that bent leg, shift again into our triangle pose. So we slide the hand down the shin, turning the top hand, palm forward, eye gaze up to the top hand, breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your mouth. Alrighty, so bending the knee again, switching back to our warrior pose, sinking down with the hips, but then we'll keep going with the arms, turning the palm up, and asking the universe for some positive, healthy energy. And we're gonna straighten through the leg and walk the feet back in. Okay, let's work on some core. So if you can come and join me down on the mat, if you need another drink, now's a good time to grab some. This month at Ziggs, we're focusing on mini habits. So my mini habit each day is um, making a bit of flavored water. So today I'm on um, strawberry and mint water. So I just put it in the pot night before, chop up some fresh mint, fresh strawberries, and oh, it tastes so good. So good way of uh, keeping water interesting. Okay, so let's come down onto our backs. So maybe thinking about a mini habit, something simple, easy that you can do each day that will improve your health and your well-being, and just seeing if you can commit to it each day for the next for the next month. It's mini habits may we'll call it. All right, so fingertips in the curve of the lower back. I'm gonna pull the belly button muscle in, press the shoulders down, and I'd like you to bring one leg up, keeping that pressure on your hands, level one, level two, we alternate the legs, so one is coming up as the other leg is coming down, and then straight legs for more advanced level, pointing the toes as you go. We do it four more times. Pressing your shoulders back and down. Alrighty, and then bending through your knees and we're gonna circle, open the knees and come back in. Let's do it again. So circling open and around. Getting into gravity with the knee, mobilizing the hips. Reverse, back in the opposite direction. So grateful, getting that blood flow going around, stiffness in the hips. And from here, we're gonna rock up to a seated position. And you can either crisscross through your legs or go wide through your feet. And we're gonna go up onto the sitting bones and lengthen the arms up and back by the ears. And then as you drop forwards, going quite wide with your hands, chin to your chest, breathe. Sliding the hands in, reaching up, going forwards, quite wide with the hands. Now, can you nudge your fingers just a bit further forwards? And again, inching forwards, notice where you feel it and just nudging one more, hold, breathe, and release. Okay, so we're gonna swap legs if you're doing the cross leg version, or you can do it with your feet wide. So take a seat up on your, your sitting bones, and let's go long with the arms, moving through, reaching forwards, breathe, and a little bit further, a little bit further, notice where you feel it. And sliding the hands in. You sit right up on your sitting bones, arms back by your ears. And 
wide with the hands. Chin in. Breathe. Nudging the fingers forwards. Breathe. And a little bit further. A little bit further. Alrighty, so coming back in. And if you can unhook your legs, let's do some work for our arms. So uh, getting the strappy tops out and summer dresses. Uh, thinking about getting their arms out for summer. So this will help to, to tone them up. Pull your shoulders back and down. We're going to push the ground away. So just literally straightening the arms, lifting the chest and holding that pose just for a few seconds for level one. And then we bend the elbow and do it again. Level two, we add some lift through the bottom. And the aim of the game is to try and get the knees, the hips, the chest in line. We'll call it the table and then drop back down. For level three, we extend the legs and lift. So choose your level, what feels safe and appropriate for you today. And we're just gonna repeat that a few more times. So pushing down through the ground, eye gaze up towards the ceiling and then lowering. Let's do that three more times. Inhale and lift. Holding for a few seconds at the top, exhaling and lowering. Just tuning into the breath, breathing in. And final one. Alrighty, let's give our arms a, a shake out. Now you'll need a stick for our next exercise. So if you can come up to standing. Can you pop the stick behind your back? And we're gonna take a stretch for our, our quadricep muscles. So knees together, heel towards the bottom and pushing the hip bones forwards. Hold, breathe. Now, if you like, you can add some lean to test balance. So see if you can get your upper body and your thigh horizontal more height now on the leg for more advanced pushing the foot up towards the ceiling breathe okay let's give that a go on the other side so holding on to the foot can you get your inner thighs touching together can you feel your heel on your bottom so heel towards your bum Pushing your hips forward, squeeze your buns to push the hips forwards. Helps to initiate the stretch. And then if you like adding level two, so we test the balance by adding the lean, keeping the heel on the bottom for level two. Third level today, we're gonna add that lift through the leg. Welcoming any wobble. And then let's transition to the other side, but this time bringing, we're gonna move into a standing single leg extension. So building stamina in the leg, knee up, extending the leg without dropping the thigh bone, pointing the toes, bending back in and release. So bringing your knee up. So if you can see your your leg, try to keep it at that height. Don't let it drop as you extend. Reach your toes, three seconds. Bending back in and coming back down. Using the stick to monitor your posture. And keep the thigh at hip height, reach your toes. So building strength in the thigh and the hip and the posture. Let's do that on the other side. Keep lengthening up through the crown of the head. And we're just going to do that a couple more times. And final one. And releasing off 
and give your legs a shake. Okay, let's come back to working on our core. If you need a drink, now's a good time to grab some. Alrighty, so coming down into a plank position. So I'd like you to bring your body to your elbows and either to your knees like this or for more advanced we're going to move to our toes like that if you're working from your knees we're going to come up up and then down and down if you're working from your toes we're going to come up up and down down like this so we're going to keep that movement going up up down down and we should try and do it without your hips rocking too much and perhaps alternate the side that you lead from so you initially lead from your left and then you lead from your right just going to do that through a couple more times keeping the core active as you do it belly button is pulled in and the tailbone is slightly tucked last couple final one and then when you're done we'll have a sit back open the arms deep breath moving on to your front some work for the buns so good to have uh, strong glutes to support our backs and our hips so notice the heels are together and I'm really focusing on weighting both hips evenly down. So if you keep your hips weighted and push your pubic bone into the ground as you lift a single leg, keeping those points of contact and then switch to the other side. So hover the leg, get the buttock muscle switched on and active. And really important that you keep your pubic bone pressing downwards, particularly if you struggle with any niggles in your lower back. Now, if you can keep those posture points, then move up to level two, if that feels like the right level for you. So level two, adding more lift with both legs. And over time, working on that level, and then level three, adding upper body, if that feels safe and appropriate. But it can be quite intensive on the lower back if you're not used to it, so work at that initial level and build up over the weeks and the months. I'd like you to do two more. So final one. And resting off. And we're going to move into a groin stretch next. So the knees are open like this. You can have your feet touch together and the elbows in front. We're going to arch the back slightly, push, pushing the bottom back towards the heels. Just notice where you feel that stretch in the groin, maybe taking the knees a bit wider if needed. Breathe. Alrighty, let's bring our knees together again. And from here, we're going to come up onto our tiptoes with our hands placed so that our elbow sort of touches our inner thigh like that. And we're going to have a little go of the, it's called the yoga crow. It's a good uh, step towards doing a headstand actually. So we're going to rock forwards, putting weight into our wrists and then rock back. So again, rocking forwards putting weight into the wrists and then rocking back. And then from there, the next progression really is to lift and hover one foot off the ground and then changing so that as you lean, you hover the other foot up off the ground. And then over time, you can start to hover both of the feet and take more of the weight in the arms and then we rock back again. Just do that a little hold for about three seconds and then lower. It's 
So I'm just going to practice that three more times. Great for building stamina and strength through the arms and the shoulders. Give the neck and shoulders a little stretch neck. So final one. Alrighty, and let's give the wrists a little circle and then back the other way. Okay, great. So let's come up to standing. Can you find a stick? And we'll use the stick to help stretch around our neck and shoulders. So if you could walk your hands towards each other, grip and pull like you're trying to pull the stick apart. And we're going to turn the head so we look down, down behind the shoulder, deep breath. Let's release and do that again. So walk the hands just that little bit closer and aim the top elbow up and back as you press your shoulder blades down. And do that one more time. Grip and pull, turn, breathe. Alrighty, let's release and give that a go on the other side. So Walk your hands towards each other. Try and squeeze that elbow in towards your ear. That's it. And pull, turn, look down. Eye gaze behind the shoulder. Deep breath. And let's release. Walk the hands a bit closer together. Pull up, pull down as you do the head turn. Breathe. Let's release and we're going to do that one more time. So grip and pull, turn the head, look down, breathe. Alrighty, let's release. And then from here, we're going to take the stick behind your back. And I want you to keep your thumbs touched together as you straighten your arms. Squeeze your shoulders, lifting. Try and get some height on your arms. Really straighten your arms. Notice the arms have pulled away from the back of the body. And then bringing the hands back down to touch the body. And do that again. So we squeeze the shoulders towards each other. Really open your collarbones, straighten your arms, lift them, get some height in them. Heart gaze up, chin up release down. Just going to do that one more time. So gripping, pulling, straightening the arms. Breathe. And release off. Okay, let's come down onto the back. We're nearly there. So nice, relaxing stretch for our backs. If you can Bring your right knee so it's hugged in. Extend the left leg away. And we're going to the knee towards the chest as we press the foot down, pressing the knee down now, trailing the arm behind. We want this hand just about, just a bit higher really than the, the shoulder. So if you can turn your head, press your shoulder blade down, breathe. Keep pressing your shoulder down and your knee down, inhaling through your nose. As you exhale through your mouth, pressing down more firmly. And let's release and we'll give that stretch a go on the other side. Notice how the other side is feeling. So let's bring the knee across, place the foot on the floor, use the hand to press down. Again, we want that back hand just slightly higher than the shoulder. Turn the head so we look. Pressing the shoulder down. Breathe deeply. 
Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth and pressing down the shoulder and the knee. Alrighty, so let's roll our knees up like this towards our chest and we're going to just have the hands here on top of the knees and then circling the knees around. Circling them around. And then reversing back in the opposite direction. And just placing your feet down, popping your hands on top of your belly, closing your eyes taking a moment to appreciate the exercise that you've done today. I want you to just think back over this last month about the little mini habits that you did easily each day to help your health, your well-being. It's all those little things that kind of add up to our, our bigger picture and that cumulative effect of our health, our energy, our flexibility, strength, our mindset. Taking a deep breath in. And a long exhale. And sort of projecting forward over this next month, what little new mini habit could you put in place that would support your journey of improving your health, your well being, your strength? Your body confidence, something simple, fairly effortless, but something very consistent that you could do each day over the next month. Taking a deep breath in through the nose and a long exhale. When you're ready, I'd like you to open your eyes. We're going to do a little jaw stretch today. So I'd like you to open your mouth really wide, like you're having a round. So open really wide. and then close your mouth and then do that again. So big, open, wide mouth and then release. Just do that again. So big, open, wide mouth and release. Sometimes we forget that, you know, our jaw needs training and um, we'd be lost without it, hey? So from here, we're going to take a little stretch for our wrists. So if you can come up to a kneeling posture and we're going to turn the palms out and away like this. So hands facing away and then place the fingers down so that the fingertips point towards the knees. And then we're just going to sit the bottom back towards the heels, pressing the shoulders down and just noticing how the forearms and the wrists are feeling today. And then let's Release, give the hands a bit of a shake, and then we'll flip that way so the palms are now facing up, still with the fingertips pointing towards the knees. I just straighten your arms and rotate them. So we're going to rotate and sit the bottom back again. Breathing into the stretch. And 
ready. So if we give the, the hands a little shake out, if you'd like to yourself off mute, just going to stop the share of the music. How are we feeling?